Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Now today I have got a new squad build for you guys, which is a Serie A slash BPL slash kind of Liga Earn as well in there. Not many Liga Earn players, but just a little bit of a difference to just kind of mix the team up a little bit. Now, as you can probably tell, my voice sounds a lot clearer because I've got a new kind of like headset. It's a uh, Plant a Gamecom Plantronics headset. It's a lot clearer than the webcam I was using to record my previous videos. So hopefully you guys like the audio on this and hopefully it sounds a lot better and a lot more sharper. So we're going to get straight into the team though and we're going to go in net with Butland who does have an inform and a team of the season. Um, I could have bought the team as the inform card and you can probably buy the inform or the team of the season card if you want to make this team better. But I just picked up the normal card just because then I can save up for his team of the season card in the future. So we're going to go in the back four though and we're going to put in centre back company and Otamendi getting that nice Man City link up there and in the full backs we're going to go with when it decides to load we're going to go with cliche and again another city player just to get them nice links and get a bit of chemistry there and we're going to go with right back the first special card of the team which is buffarani from san lorenzo who uh, i got chemistry with otamendi for the argentinian link and honestly this guy 92 pace um, 81 dribbling 82 defending and 86 physical is a really solid card i mean even if he had like low 80s or mid 80s or even like high 70s pace and he had them sort of defending stats and like dribbling i'll probably pick this guy up if i could get him into a team but to have that 92 pace as well is just really really good and all around the back four including butland is really really solid didn't concede many goals at all with this team so getting into the midfield though we have got in center mid on the left hand side we've got nine golan in the center in the mid feet in the middle of the center mids we have got the informed totty which does have 39 pace and a lot of people don't go for him because of that 39 pace, because he is originally a centre forward and some people use him as a striker. But I think in centre mid, this guy, his 39 pace isn't actually exploited and isn't much of a problem at all. Um, I mean, he's got 89 passing, which for a midfielder is really, really good. 86 shooting, so he can definitely get a shot away if you need him to. And 83 dribbling as well with the 5-star weak foot. Uh, managed to pick up 2 goals and an assist in the 3 games I played with him. 19k as well, so pretty fa fairly cheap for a midfielder of that quality even though he's got 39 pace i still i do still really rate this guy and um, also with buffarani i forgot to mention picked him up for 22k as well which for a pay for a team this season of that quality is actually really good as well now getting onto the right center mid right center mid we have got pastore from psg getting the argentinian link once again um pretty decent center mid i don't normally go with pastore if i'm going to get a psg midfielder i normally have a go with my tweedy or Verratti. But Pastore is really, really good, um, and I do actually really enjoy him. He has got some pretty decent stats as well, 84 passing, 86 dribbling. Not the strongest, but um, he does still still definitely do the job. And same with Totti, I don't, th I don't think Totti's that strong. He has got 70 physical, but um, he's probably got a decent heading stat in there as well, because down the years, he has got a lot of heading goals. Not 100% sure about strength, but 9 goals is a pretty strong midfielder as well. So on the um, on the left-hand side of midfield, on the left-hand side of midfield, you have got a uh, strong centre mid to mop up if the other midfielders aren't exactly strong enough but the midfields definitely did feel solid in the games that I've played with them now in the left wing position we go with inform Insigne uh, just the normal just the first inform Insigne I didn't have enough to get the 84 the 85 um, because we have got a few other expensive players like Totti well not really expensive but well, 20k and uh, Buffarani as well 20k I wouldn't have had enough if I did get the 84 or the 85 version and we have also got a uh, pretty expensive front three in um, Insigne and in the right wing position we have got Di Maria who's about 10k I think I picked him up for 10.5k uh, so not really expensive pretty decent his uh, left wing card is, is obviously a lot expen more expensive 50k but his right wing card is just well the same rating I think it is actually uh, he's just in a different position and he was pretty decent for us as well three goals in the uh, three games I played rim one and assist as well pretty decent and then Sinje as well managed to pick up five goals and two assists in three games this guy I did have in the other squad that I did in a camp position, I think it was the uh, Serie A, well, Serie A hybrid with back up front, and he played really, really well in that team. So I was quite, quite excited to use in farm card, and he did just as good, if not better, than I expected to. Picking up five goals and two assists was really, really good. And in the, and now in the strike position, we got the main man of this team, which is the, I think it's the fourth in form, is it? Fourth or, no, third, I think it is, because his 90 red card is the fourth in form. But we've got the third in form, Higuain, who was pretty decent in the games I played with him. He did only score two goals, which compared to Insigne getting the five goals doesn't sound that good. But he did manage to, go up to pick up two assists as well, which is pretty decent. Picked him up for 53k, 84 pace, 88 dribbling and 92 shooting. It was a really, really good card. Um, obviously, Insigne got more goals, but Higuain was just, he, he got a lot of chances and he put a lot of them away and also picked up a few assists as well. 
And I think if you use this guy more, like it would, maybe if you had the wider wingers maybe, it might have worked a bit better. But Insigne did get a lot of goals as well and same with Higuain was really, really well, um, really good as well. So if you want to pick this team up, like I said, in the t put in the title, it is around 165k, around, around about 160 to 165k. So it is fairly cheap to have, to consider you have three in forms and a team of the season in there. So I will put some clips as well of this team though, so you can see how this team actually played in game and see if you actually want to pick it up. But hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then be sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe guys. And I will Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out.